Okay, hi guys. Uh, this is Dennis from Give Asia, and uh, I'm here today with uh, Peter as well as uh, Jose. Mm. Jose started a campaign, to, uh, you know, to, to raise funds for his uh, children's education. Mm. And um, let's hear from him. You know what actually happened and why he need to raise funds for his children's education. Jose, good afternoon. Uh, how good are you today? Oh well. Thank you very much for coming. Yes, I'm fine. Yeah. Okay, good. Would you mind sharing with our, you know, Give Asia audience, uh, um, you know, what actually happened that uh, you know Peter uh, can't go to school? Well, uh, okay, I have four children, mm. uh, and well, me and my wife were PR. Okay. And uh, we came here 2008, 2009. Right. And the children came 2010. Okay. Okay. Uh, there's four children. Okay, so. You could imagine that only me and my wife was working, mm. and every year we try we tried to apply for them to be in PR status to help in the expenses. But the thing is, we've been denied, even with the help of our MP. Okay, you know, we are still denied, and we still am wondering how come, despite being both parents are being PR, the children mm. denied. Okay. So because of that, the children ended up paying school fees on foreigner rate. On foreigner rates. Yes, foreigner. That is actually quite expensive, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, especially yeah. for uh, for children. <laughs> right. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Anyway, so we did our best. We approached uh, church for help, but church funds limited. Mm. We up uh, we approach friends. We have to sell some of our properties in the Philippines so to be able to fund. No. Uh, we the f we approach institution including the government uh, family services. Okay. However, we are turned down because their policy or their criteria is at least one of the parents should mm. be citizen, but we're both PR. So totally okay. from that that point, we have been denied uh, any assistance from government or other oh. private institutions. Okay. Okay. okay, okay. So because of that criteria. Right. Even simple uh, community. Development uh, Council bursary, mm. we don't need qualify because of that criteria. I see. So you must be at least one citizen. One one citizen and the other is PR. Oh, so both PR you cannot apply. I see. Yeah. Understand. Okay. It, it, it's also the same with HDB. Mm. The we were thinking instead of renting, no, mm. which is almost half of our combined uh, uh, salary. Salary. Mm. Now we went to HDB. HDB said. PRs are only could get units to a wholesale open market, okay. but no government assistance again because at least one parent yeah. should be a citizen. I understand. Okay, so by the grace of God, we were able to reach as far as uh, 2016 now with, with my son being able to graduate ITE okay. and then my daughter uh, finishing secondary but and then will progress to to uh, ter to tertiary level okay and then my son here Peter is continuing his primary course but mm. again if you look at the expenses we have to prioritize payment right so first is the ITE son mm. but his school fee is 5000 uh, 411 per semester okay which is only five months per semester and two semester per year so in the total two years now we have to bring up 22,000 which is all bulk payments because it's a foreigner yep he has no installment plan mm. then after that we now focus on our secondary daughter who's a, who was an express now hoping that after the O level exam now she could then proceed to poly and we could now make use of our CPF saving to pay for her uh, diploma course right okay uh, they both graduated okay but the and we were looking forward for a beautiful 2017 okay. however on the last three months of 2016 uh, unfortunate event happened mm -hmm. on November 1 2016 my mother-in-law died oh okay sorry so, to hear that yes and uh, yeah. we we decided as a family only my wife will go home since because we have limited expense just to bury the mother yeah. okay so she came back but then again on December 30 2016 my father-in-law died wow. so it's just two months Wow okay. okay and the timing again is relatively I'm not blaming my the death of my in-laws but the mm -hmm. timing is relatively off because that's the time when we have our money our 13th month but because of those funeral expenses we have to send back 
Okay. And because because of that, you could imagine how tied up already we are with school fee, then these unfortunate events, no? And then uh, the priority of payments. So still the same. My IT son graduated. Mm. And uh, from student pass, he was then converted. He was turned into visitor's pass only around 30 days. We were hoping that he would be able to get a job, but being an IT graduate does not guarantee an immediate job. Okay. So he had to fly back to the Philippines. My daughter, my secondary daughter, took up the O level exam. She prepared for it. She studied hard for it. No? And she believed she did her best. Okay. But when the O level exam came out, it did not qualify her for poly but on ITE level which means I we were see. not able to use again the, the CPF fund okay now okay uh, because of that we now have to prog uh, program her to enter we decided that she had to enter on a one-year uh, diploma course in Kaplan to save time although again the expense is relatively heavy since it's a mm. private institution right. and we don't have any uh, other source of assistance no okay because of that Peter as of February 2, was uh, M Ministry of Education cancelled cancelled his student pass. So from February 2 onwards, he's now on long-term social visit pass, and we're paying little by little Ooh. MOE with the hope that uh, MOE would grant him reinstatement even if we have not paid full. However, MOE clearly stated that he has to pay all of the 2016 tuition fee full mm. before he is able to before they grant him reinstatement back here in 2017 but you see okay. February 2 up to now mm. he already missed four months of classes or right. half of the school year right we're hoping that he'll be able to catch up on when school starts again this July okay so in total you know I believe that you're raising money uh, for uh, Peter as well as your daughter right for yes. their education fees so in total looking at about uh, you know 10,000 like that more or less that's enough to help us get through yes okay okay guys um, you know t um, you hear t uh, Jose's story and uh, you don't want your children to be depriving of your education because of money that should be the last thing that uh, you know t uh, on their mind from stopping them from going to school and uh, if you look at Peter here young and bright you know uh, try to help him to get back to school and try to help Jose get the school fees that's uh, for his children um, Thank you for watching and thank you Emily for uh, you know highlighting this uh, case to us. Uh, Miss Emily, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Okay, bye.